Why is it easy to lift up a big inflated beach ball, but much harder to lift a small heavy pebble? It is largely to do with density. The small pebble is more dense and the big light beach ball is less dense. In this video we are going to look at what density is, how it is measured and the differences in density between different states of matter. Informally, density is a measure of how packed a material is with mass. Density is defined as the mass of an object per its unit volume. So the big beach ball has a small mass, but a big volume, meaning its density is very low, whereas the pebble is the opposite, lots of mass compacted into a small volume. Rank these objects in terms of density, from least dense to most dense. Pause the video, have a think and click play when you're ready. Did you get them right? Did you know that liquids and gases also have different densities? Look at this density tower of different liquids. The honey is most dense so sinks to the bottom, whereas milk is in the middle and lamp oil is the least dense. But what about the densities between different states? Look at the world around you, think of floating and sinking. When you go to the beach, why does the big beach ball float, whereas the small heavy pebble sinks? Why do huge boats float? How come a heavy wooden log floats on water, but a small light paper clip sinks? This is all to do with density. Air is less dense than water. The beach ball, boat and wooden log are also less dense than water, hence they float. But the pebble and the paper clip are more dense than water and so sink. Don't be fooled into thinking that gases are always least dense, followed by liquids, and solids are most dense. This just isn't the case. Density is how heavy an object is for its size. To calculate the density of an object, divide its mass in kilograms by its volume in cubic meters. These are the units used for density. Using this formula, give these density questions a go. Notice that question three is a little different. How did you get on? So from the formula, we saw that density is based on the mass and size of an object, but it is also based on the arrangement of the atoms it's made of. Inside each object are atoms and molecules. How closely these atoms and molecules are packed together determines the density. In the rock, the molecules are squished tightly together, whereas in the wood, they are more spread out, and in air, much more spread out. A final thought, think of icebergs. They float on water, so solid ice is less dense than liquid seawater. When the ice melts, so it changes temperature, it becomes more dense and so mixes with the seawater. This means that temperature does affect density. This relationship between temperature and density explains how hot air balloons work. Hot air is less dense than normal air, which means hot air balloons rise. Hot water is also less dense than cold water, so the top of the ocean is warmer than the bottom. So there we have density. It is a comparison of how heavy an object is compared to its size and also includes the arrangements of atoms inside it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. Why not check out our Fuseco app as well? Until next time.